Hi, happy Friday everybody. And I know everybody's been busy working and I know that we have a lot going on. We have um, recently uploaded onto our website some wonderful resources for our families and our children um, and our community at large. And all of that work is happening, not by myself, but with a wonderful BOCES leadership team, and most importantly, an executive cabinet who misses you very much and have a few messages they'd like to share with you. Stay healthy, stay positive, and for us to all be strong during this time period. And we'll hope that we're all back together soon. Take care, bye-bye, it's Kathy. Hi, it's Amy Albers. Just wanted to let you know I miss you. Wish we were together. Stay safe, stay healthy. Stay strong, everybody. You guys are amazing. Amazing. Hi, I'm Yasmin Halu Kare, and I am thrilled to be able to send each one of you a heartfelt thank you. Thank you for all of your hard work. Thank you for supporting our students and families and all of our learners during this very difficult time. I send you happiness and health from my home to yours. Hi, this is Ron Hansen. Hopefully your family and you are safe practicing social distancing. I know it's frustrating, but we hope to see you back very soon. Please make sure you wear a mask in public. And if you need anything from the business office, please give us a call. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody. I'm thinking about all of you. Please stay safe and healthy. And please stay home, and we'll see you soon. Take care. And as many of you know, or I hope you have heard, we probably will be closed through May 15th based on a new executive order. So that means we have a lot more work to do, and we really need each and every one of you to think of the positive, to try and calm yourself in the turbulent waters. So what I'd like to do is I'd like each of you, every time you see this video, and if you're watching it with your family or your friends and doing good social distancing, I'd like each of you to raise your arms. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Put your hands on your hips. Stand tall and straight like a superhero because each of you are superheroes to me and to our community. Raise your arms again. Exhale. Put your hands on your hip. Stand tall like a superhero and say thank you. Thank you to all of our essential workers, the medical personnel, the nurses, the physicians, the pharmacists, the grocery store, and mostly Raise your arms, still stand tall and brave and proud as a superhero for what you're doing. You're working, you're learning, you're educating, you're supporting, and you're caring for each other. That's the most important thing right now. So in ending on that, I'd like to end with a poem that I think we all need in this moment in time. And the poem is called One day at a time. We can't change the past, but we can gather up its lessons and move on, stronger and wiser. We can't control the future, but we can send our dreams ahead of us to help prepare the way. We can live each and every moment with our heart and our soul and cherish this day's greatest gift, the gift of now, of being in the present. May peace with the past and faith in the future gently guide us through each precious moment of today, our present. Stay in the present, help each other, be safe, and continue the great work you're doing. I feel so blessed and I thank you. And remember, all are welcome here.